Hey, what's up guys? Tugi here, back again. This is Rebuilding Hockey Town, and let's get right into it. It is the off-season video after the, what do you even call the draft video from the last episode? I have no idea. Again, I felt a little bit bad about it. You could tell by the way I was talking in the video, especially when I said I felt kind of bad about it. But, like I said, it was so tough to have a set plan. I didn't want to rush out and get so many players because, you, I mean, look, Kaylor Yamamoto jumped up to an 86. Like, it's going to be a tough offseason where we already have to get rid of a ton of players. So, I only wanted to bring in a couple more players that, uh, you know, that could factor into future plans. I, I, I can't defend the last episode too much. Didn't have a set plan. We ended up getting the number one overall pick. Trading a few other picks out to pick up some other players. And now we get to move on with this offseason video. And again, it is going to be even more ridiculous than the previous. If you thought I made a ton of trades, if you thought I made too many trades last offseason, man, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. It is about to get even more ridiculous but that's what happens in this series. I mean, this series in particular, it's going to reach a level that is pretty much unmatched. I mean, the Vancouver series is kind of infamous with how much of a player factory I kind of turned that team into where we just kept churning out prospects. This series might top that. It genuinely might top that. It is going to be absolutely ridiculous. And you might be surprised at the fact that I'm going to re-sign Tom Wilson. But I am. He is a playoff sniper. He is a man. And he is uh, going to stick around for at least a little bit of time. Sven Andragetto is not. By a little bit of time, I mean probably to the end of the offseason, where I end up having to trade him because we have other players that we need to uh, other players that we need to re-sign. Born of all can go. Athanasiu, I actually will hold on to somewhat of a talisman. On that fourth line, I completely fucked up the math. Don't mind me. Don't mind the clicking from the keyboard in the background. I am a professional. <laughs> not in the slightest. Not in the slightest. Riley Tufty, not even looking for a million dollars. That is somewhat concerning. He is listed as a depth forward, I guess. So I'm not all that surprised. I do want to take care of the UFAs first. Then we'll take care of the more expensive RFAs. I do want to be a little bit careful here. The cap situation could jump up out of nowhere and catch me by surprise, which would really, really suck. So we're going to play it a little bit safe. Elias Pedersen is looking for that much, but I'm still going to be cheap as hell and sign him to uh, a near minimum contract. Is that it for UFAs? Yes, it is. So let's sim forward a day. Make sure everybody here Resigns, and we'll see what we're at cap situation wise. Shouldn't be, uh, oh, uh, shouldn't be too much of the free cap space gone. But let's take a look. Athens, see you. Wilson, Svensson, Eklund, sorry, Yarby, Pedersen, Dolan, Green, Tufty, Lukanen have all resigned. And that brings us down to 34 million. <laughs> 34 million. So all unsigned players, uh, we're good. We're good there. UFAs, we are good. Now we begin the RFA process. And first up is Nico Hischer, who didn't do a damn thing. Well, he had one goal in the uh, in the postseason, I should say. Oh, my God, we're going to be able to knock over, uh, about a million dollars off of this. Yep, that, that works right there. Two-year deal, a bridge contract for him. Nick Baptiste, the hero. We're going to pay him. Now, we might not end up paying his full contract, because he'll probably be traded, but the hero who scored the game-winning goal, the cup-winning goal. Kaylor Yamamoto, looking to be paid. You have never played an NHL game, but you're going to have a 2.3, actually a 2.4 million dollar contract, because that's how this game works. <laughs> that's how this game works. Giovanni Smith. A $1.825 million deal. Cole Lind, again, hasn't played an NHL game. Will be getting paid with a 
million dollar contract. Taylor Radish, who had a very nice postseason. Very nice postseason indeed. Perhaps a bit controversial that I kept him on the second line all season long. I mean, hey, thank we traded away Anthony Mantha. We still won the cup. And Taylor Radish was a very, very big part of that. Evgeny Svechnikov. Will you end up on a line with Brother Andre this season? That is a big question I have. And then Noah Rod, who we picked up on waivers on the last day of the season. We will sign him and then probably release him. But for now, again, like I should just release him because signing him only means more pick hoarding. But <laughs> like, should I just let go of players that I'm not going to use or should I trade them for picks? It's a, it's a situation. But let's see here. So far, so good. Everybody has accepted. What's the cap space like? We had 44 million and we still have 16 million. Was it 44 million or 42? Regardless, we still have 16 million dollars. We're still not done buying out the Dan Girardi contract, by the way. Remember when that happened? <laughs> we bought out Dan Girardi. Seems like a long time ago, doesn't it? Now, as far as unsigned players, we're going to keep it that way because we don't know who's available in free agency. So we will double check there and just make sure that there aren't any prospects we want to pick up before signing the prospects that we already have because the rich get richer. It's just... Oh, it's it's depressing, too. I was watching the news before recording this, and when you say the rich get richer, yeah, yeah, it does. But we're not here to talk about real-world problems. We're here to play a goddamn video game and to have fun and to brighten up my day and hopefully brighten up yours. Fucking right. <laughs> put that on a poster. <laughs> Include the fucking right and the put that on a poster. So, um, player-wise here, getting back on track, not really anybody... I'd care to sign. Goalie-wise, is there like a Miracle 99 overall? No, there is not. Ilya Samsonov is available, though. He's 24, and he still has potential. I might... Yeah, you know what? I'm probably going to try to sign Ilya Samsonov. We don't necessarily need him, but if Ian Scott progresses enough when we trade Tristan Jari, he could be the backup. If Lukanen isn't. It probably doesn't matter at this point. We also have David Adams, a fifth-round pick of Arizona, who could be picked up. High backup. You got Vienni Vevalainen. He is 24. He could still progress as well. You have medium backup goalies. I mean, there are yeah, there's a couple of guys here who still might progress. High AHL starter. You have Kyle Kite. Kieser? Kaiser? I have no idea. Uh, Aiden Hughes, who was a Devil's pick. Anybody else? Not really. Okay, so goalie-wise, I, I could do some damage. Let's see what else we have here, though. Let's see what else we have here. Defensive prospects. Anything good? Anything good? I thought my game froze for a second. Dennis Chalowski is a free agent. <laughs> oh my god, I could bring back Dennis Chalowski. That's hilarious. Low top four, 77 overall at 19 years old. You guys know I tend to avoid low overalls, but both of these guys could actually be something. That That's a possibility. Problem is we already don't have, and we don't have that much space to begin with. Rocky Ruedel, hell of a name. Drafted by Columbus, but medium top six is kind of meh. High 7th, anybody decent? Again, I'm focusing solely on the ages at this point, not overalls, and there's nobody there that we would want. So defensively, a couple of guys we could look at. How about right wings? Right wings. Low top 6, McCult. Medium top 9, a couple of guys in the medium top 9 category. High bottom 6, no. Okay, so eh, a couple of guys, potentially. Let me just look at forwards in general. Easier that way. So low top six, Stephen Carter and Zach McCult. And aside from that, you got some medium top nine guys who... Yeah, quite a few medium top nine guys. High bottom six, anybody decent? Again, I'm only looking at the ages. Not really looking like it. Huh. So how do we want to handle this? How do we want to handle this? I guess the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to goalies. And we are going to send an offer to Ilya Samsonov. 
Uh, it says the... Wow, he's only seeking $1.5 million per season. Are you insane? All right. Well, let's take advantage of our cap situation, shall we? We'll offer you a million more per season. So if you want to come here, that's fine. And after that, medium fringe, medium backup. You know, we'll offer David Adams a deal, too. Why the hell not? We'll offer you a, a max entry-level deal, because I can. So that brings us up to, I think, 47 contracts. And then from there, we'll let Vevelinen go. I'm not too impressed. Uh, I'm not too impressed at all. <clears throat> God, sorry. <laughs> I apologize for that. Uh, Chalowski, I could bring back, and it would be kind of funny. But we just have to trade him. We would just have to trade him. So, it's... <sighs> I don't know. Like, I wanted him to be a part of this series, but you look at who we already have. Is he really going to factor in? I don't think he is. And we got low top four, Froloff. Huh. So what, have I sent out two offers already? Two offers already. Almost want to sign Rocky Ruedel, just because his name is hilarious. Uh, do I want to even bother with low top six? Not really. Uh, the fact is, he's a 71. The only reason why Froloff's intriguing is because he's a 77 at 19 years old. So I will actually take a flyer on Froloff. And then from there, I think I'm just going to let Chalowski go. We used him in the Bruins series. He was dominant. He can go be dominant for somebody else. Well, let's move forward. Let's see if uh, the offers we sent out are accepted. And then we'll move forward to the start. Of the next season, David Adams, Froloff have accepted. Neat. Ilya Samsonov. Full roster, apparently. Oh, okay. Well, I, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Not too concerned. I could have sworn we only had like 45 or 46 contracts, but that's fine. Ilya Samsonov gets to go elsewhere. Odds are it means either Jari stays or Lukanen's the backup. Worst comes to worst, we can just trade for a better backup goalie if we need it. I'm not concerned. Hell, I could trade for Ilya Samsonov if I wanted to. It's fine. But you know what? Because I got nothing to say at the moment while we wait for this. Swig of Arnold Palmer half and half. The best drink on the planet. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Alcoholic, non-alcoholic, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It is the best beverage on the face of the earth. Again, have I mentioned how much of a professional I am? <laughs> Have I mentioned it's it's not that I don't care. I take you know, I take some level of pride, you know, in the fact that I've made like six hundred some odd videos and such. But again, I don't I don't take myself too seriously. Whatever. Did I was I unable to hold off coughing or clearing my throat because I'm a human being? Yeah. Did I you know, am I tired of talking? No. But yeah, do you need to take a swig of water or a swig of Arnold Palmer half and half? Sometimes. Yes you do. Anyway, we're here. Let's take a look at this absurd roster. Oh my god, Tristan Jari went up to a 90. Lukanen's an 83, but he is listed as a medium starter. Ian Scott's an 87. I told you he could jump up. I told you. Holy shit. So Jari's a 90. Ian Scott's an 87. Oh my god. Like, I almost want to stick with Jari because he won us the cup. But we have to choose between Scott and... Or Jari. And then from there, Lukanen is listed as a medium starter. We could keep him. We could keep him down in the AHL and just have Grand Rapids be even more ridiculous. Or whenever we decide what goalie we want between these two, which it's it should be Ian Scott. I mean, let's be honest. Jari's going to cap out there. Scott's in 87, and he still has a few years left to go of progression. So, but... Yeah, we could keep Lukanen down there. If not, it'll be Streit and Bancroft deciding who is the starter there. This is a problem when it lists Hagen Dolan <laughs> down here. Oh boy. Alright, let's let's look at this mess, shall we? <laughs> uh we'd be over the allowable player limits. Alright. Let me go to forwards and send down whatever extra players are there. Oh my god. Wait, what under the cap? Yeah, we'd be under the cap. Shit. That should work, and it does. Good. Defensively, defensively, 
Hronik, Nurse, Haig, Green, Dolan, Lilligren, Sariarvi. And then Yoki Harju is an 84, but he's still only listed as a minor league top two. <laughs> Good lord, man. Oh my god. This is absurd. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six players listed as top four defensemen, and then Sari Arvi. So we need to pick. We need to pick four out of six. Four out of six. You could say five and then just give power play time to whoever we stick on the third pairing with Sari Arvi. And I won't necessarily disagree. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Luke Green's gone. He was never really a factor into the plans. He is best friends with Sari Arvi, though, so that kind of sucks. You got Liljegren. You got, I mean, Rasmus Dahlin is... I don't fucking know, guys. Jesus, let me go look at forwards. Let me go look at forwards. All right. So, we have... Is that the 12 right there? Pedersen? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, what am I going to do? What am I going to do with this team? Jesus, God help me. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have to stop the episode, guys. Oh my god, this is the biggest logjam of talent I have ever seen. Okay, first of all... <sighs> Man, it's just, do, do we trade these players for picks, and then once we find out, okay, we need these guys, we need new AHL prospects, like, just, what do we do? What do we do? Okay, goaltending. Goaltending. We're going to solve that first. Goaltending. Okay. Holy shit, Tristan Jari's value. <laughs> I mean, Ian Scott was always the plan. He was always the plan. 22 years old now and 87 overall. Like he's ready. Now's the time for him to be the starter. But Tristan Jari just won us the cup and he's a 90 overall. But again, I can take advantage of his value and get pretty much anything I want. You know? <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of the problem. Man, this is absurd. This is absurd. I could use Jari to get that defenseman most likely from Washington, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, Jari, though. I can't afford to use them both. Uh, I mean, I could. I think I could, technically, as long as I were to, you know, make sure they each got a fair amount of games. Holy shit. What? <laughs> What am I supposed to do? This is fucking absurd. This is absolutely absurd. Unreal. Unbelievable. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. I don't think I don't necessarily want to trade Jari. That's the problem. But Ian Scott's there, and he was supposed to be the future, but the future's already here with Tristan Jari. But Jari's not gonna get any better than that. So would it be a mistake? to hold on to Ian Scott, or maybe is it telling that Ian Scott's trade value is kind of meh, but then again, Tristan Jari's trade value wasn't that high before. Fuck me. <laughs> Running. Alright, I'm sorry, Jari. You have to go. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. You have to go. And we're gonna get this defenseman. We're gonna get this defenseman. How do you like all those picks, Washington? <laughs> we're gonna get this defenseman from the Caps. Will that go through? No, it won't. A straight one-for-one one is probably closer in value than what I give it credit for. Uh, will that go through? It would. All right. <laughs> so, we know a straight one-for-one one would go through. So what I'm going to do is our goaltenders this year, Lukanen will be the backup. He should be good enough to be the backup. We'll give him a chance to be the backup behind Ian Scott. Jari, I don't want to trade you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You know what? We're good. We're, we're good. All right. He has to go. He has to go. So, I mean, I could... Fuck it. I'm going to pick Horde. I don't give a shit anymore. Will that still go through? No, it won't, but it's close. All right. Fourth and a fifth. Will that go through? No, it won't. 
All right, well, we're going to take the fourth. We know that will go through. How about a nice sixth and a seventh? Whatever. Will that go through? No, it won't. Fourth and a sixth? Wow. See, that's how close it is to real value. <laughs> we're only going to have to uh, be able to tack on a fourth here. Can we get the seventh too? Wow. All right. Oh, Tristan Jari to Washington for that defensive prospect and a pick. I don't want to. They denied like 15 first round picks for this guy. <laughs> Fuck it. Tristan, I'm sorry. Thank you for the cup. I'm sorry I had to trade you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so painful. My soul hurts. And now the team's facing a morale crisis because I traded Tristan Jari. Ugh. All right. Well, the good news is that the goal pending is set. Let's go figure out the defense. Oh, my heart. My heart just sank. That's so unfortunate. It's sad. But our goaltending is good to go. And actually, Niemi is, eh, well, you know, we could use him as a third stringer. But it doesn't really matter. Defensively, I mean, God. And funny thing is, he's uh, he's still a CHL player. I didn't even notice. So we're not going to be able to use him this year. Which is kind of fine by me. I'm not all that concerned. I know we just signed Eklund and Svensson. We might not be able to use them. Oh, this is a mess. This is a mess. <laughs> oh, boy. Place your bets. How long before I just say, screw this and wait till next episode? All right. We, we have to figure this out. First things first, I do need to sign a player uh, for cap space. You know, the one-year deal because we still have $22 million free space. So who are the veterans? Who are the veterans? David Backus. David Backus. Dustin Booflin. Dustin Booflin. Uh, Goligoski, Strachan, Trevor Smith, Victor Stahlberg, Blake Wheeler. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be, yeah, it's, it's gonna be David Backus. Actually, who else? Dylan Reese or David Backus? David Backus. One more big contract, because the one the Bruins gave to you just wasn't enough. $17.4 million. <laughs> Come on down, David Backus, for one season. Oh, I feel so bad about trading Jari. I really do. And there are going to be people that wish I didn't. And then there are going to be people who will be like, Nah, you know, that was the right choice. Keep Ian Scott. Stick to the plan. And to both of you, I say you're right. <laughs> Either way, you're right. We'll be fine unless Ian Scott turns out to be a complete bust. But considering he was an 87, now an 86, I think we'll be okay. So defensively, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Yeah, Luke Green has to go. It's him or Sorry Arby. Sorry Arby's 24. Luke Green is 23. I mean, Luke Green isn't terrible. Well rounded player. Sorry Arby, the offensive specialist. And then we have to decide Yoki Harju. I mean, technically, he could play at the AHL level. He's good enough for the NHL. That's for sure. Bouchard. All right, all right, hold on, let me figure this out. Let me figure this out. This is going to be terrible for the audio. This is going to be terrible for the audio. I'm sorry. It's paper. I'm sorry. It sounds awful. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Did you make it through? I hope so. So, down in the AHL, we could have Yoki Harju and uh, Bouchard's not even in the AHL top two. Holy shit. Okay, so, at the NHL level, at the NHL level, we have Nurse and Hronik. Then we have Hague, the Hague, with Dahlin. And then Liljegren, two offensive defensemen together, with Sari Arvi. Which means we trade Luke Green. I'm writing up a depth chart, to be completely honest. <laughs> Down at the AHL level. We have Yoki Harju and Evan Bouchard. Stevens and Colton White, it might be their time to go. We have Froloff. We're stuck with him for now. Not a terrible player to be stuck with. Uh, Delmas. All right, hold on. So we have Delmas, Yamelin. 
Uh, Peron, also still here. Damn. Uh, Rolo, Rolu, was sent. Uh, he's a CHL player this year. So then we actually were good on defense. <laughs> I'm shocked. We have Eklund and Svensson as the the depth guys, and we're good. We are actually good. All we have to do is, well, we got to trade Stevens. I think it's their time to go. Stevens and Colton White, good foot soldiers. You got two Calder Cups out of it. Thank you very much. But it's your time to go. So it'll be Yoki Harju Bouchard, Froloff, Delmas, Yamel, and Perron with these two as the depth. Now, I do need to go double-check unsigned players, unsigned defensemen. Now, goaltending, I know we have Niemi. And we're not going to have to worry about him because we already have our three goalies down in the AHL. But defensively, it could change the plans. So, unsigned. We only have two guys. We have Wisniewski and Bader. Is Wisniewski Canadian? That's, yes, he is. So, we're not going to have to sign him. And then Thomas Bader... Is medium top, medium top six. He's just as good as Eklund and Svensson. So we're good. So defensively, it's looking like Green, Stevens, and White are going to be the ones traded. Because otherwise, I mean... Uh, is Hronik top two? No, he's still top four. I mean, if you factor in here... Yes, we could play someone on the third pairing. But as we've seen, you can play someone on the third pairing when they don't like to be there. And they can still lose morale. So that's a problem. So sorry, RB stays. I honestly think... People are going to hate me for this. I think I have to trade Liljegren. I think I have to trade Liljegren. And I might even trade Darnell Nurse. Maybe? Like, he's, he's an amazing defenseman. But I could trade Darnell Nurse for that legit top two defenseman to play with Hronik. Then we have Hagen Dolan on the second pairing. Sorry, Arby. With potentially Yoki Harju. Damn. <laughs> I told you this team was going to change a lot. I told you this. So first up, Luke Green, Stevens, and Colton White need to be let go. That is what's going to happen first they are going to be traded for picks. Green, I mean, again, he, though he's listed as a top four defenseman, and bottom line is Haig and Dolan come before him. So Green is gone. We also need to go way down here to White and Stevens. Is there a Western Conference team? Or Actually, I don't even care if it's Western Conference. We just need to uh, be able to trade all these guys at once, basically. Now, I know they, you know, it was Red Bar. But we might still be able to make this work. They could just send the guy down. Oh my god. Do they have a prospect we can take back? <laughs> like an unsigned prospect? Because otherwise, I mean... Pick-wise pick here. Well, then again. Then again, there is a certain somebody here. Roman Yossi. P.K. Subban. <laughs> uh, both are expensive as shit. Legitimately, if I wanted to... I could get, I could try to, well, no, I actually don't know if I can afford both of these guys now that I think about it. I don't have this, I don't have this first round picks behind me anymore. Never mind. Never mind. So Nashville's an option, but they're not the ideal option. Montreal is also an option. Again, probably not the ideal destination. Do you guys have anybody that we could pick up? No, you don't. Shit. Uh, Mini? Does Mini have anybody? No, they have Tolvin, and he's up to an 84. So, yeah, that would be an even bigger issue had we picked up Tolvin. I told you guys this was going to be a mess. I told you. <laughs> and a mess it is. Uh, Colorado. We know that they had a hell of a situation, and it looks like they still do. I'm looking for someone like Rolo, who is down in the CHL, that we could pick up. Problem is, players like that don't grow on trees. Quentin Hughes went up five points, so I am kind of glad I didn't get him. Buffalo, do you have anybody like that? You have DeRozier. That works out. That works out tremendously, and this would potentially go through. Now, I know what you're saying. What the hell? You know you get another prospect. Yes, but he's a CHL player. He can't play this year. So it works out. Will that go through? No, it won't. Will that go through? No, it won't. What we can do 
What we can do is tack on a lovely fourth round pick. Will that go through? No, it won't. Just low, though. So we'll probably tack on a fifth or a fourth. Do we have a fifth? We do have a fifth. We have a fifth from the New Jersey Devils. Will that go through? You bitches, I'm already handing you a great defenseman in Luke Green. So rather than having a future good defenseman, you got a good defenseman now in Luke Green. You. Oh boy, you know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. Whatever. <laughs> based on based on the amount of picks I'm about to get back, I do not care. There you go. So Luke Green, Stevens, and White are gone. And we get a defenseman who won't factor into the team for a while, but he does take up a contract spot. But I'm all right with that. I am all right with that. So, defensively, we need to decide. I'll probably hold on to Lagren. Like, Darnell Nurse, it's just, it, I wish he'd turn into a legit top two defenseman. I just wish his defined role would change. That's all we need, is for that to change. So, Lagren and Sorry Arby. Right. We'll hold on to Lagren for now. We'll hold on to him for now and see if he loses morale or not. If he starts to lose morale and becomes disgruntled at having to be on the third pairing, he's going to have to go. But for now, he can at least factor into plans. Our goaltending is set. Our defense is set. Sad thing is it could be even better if I wanted to trade Darnell Nurse for someone who's a legit top two. But... I mean, he might as well be with those stats, you know? He might as well be with those stats. And now, here comes the real fun. Here comes the real fun, and here comes a Charlie horse, too, in my left calf. Son of a bitch. That does not... That doesn't feel good at all. All right, so top line would probably be, to start the season, Hall, Hishier, and Owen Tippett, right? That sounds good. Second line would be uh, one Dylan Larkin with Cole Lind, most likely. <laughs> Out of nowhere, Cole Lind has arrived. Although, actually, second line, guys, you do have Formentin and Dolan. I'm glad I paid attention to that. I'm glad I paid attention to that. Formentin and Dolan. All lefties, but that's all right. So you have Foreman and Dolan. Oh boy, here's where trouble happens. Here's where trouble happens. So then, we have Cole Lind. Baptiste gets traded. Like I said, I handed him his big-ass contract. But Baptiste is gone. And then we have Kaler. Kaler's corner, he is here. And uh, so let's see, Formentin. Turjan's listed as a depth forward. Jesus. Oh my god. All right, hold on. And do we still have players down here? Yep, we do. Oh, my God. How am I going to do this? How, how, how? <laughs> All right, well, Elias Pedersen gets sent down because he's a minor league scoring forward, so he'll spend another year in the minors. Taylor Radish is the third line guy. Tufty's a third line guy. This is... <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> so our top six is looking like it is going to be Hall, Hisher, Tippett, Formentin, Larkin, Dolan. From there, we have so many third line forwards, we need to decide. So, on the right hand side, we have Cole Lind, we have Baptiste as an option. All right. At center, how good of a center are you? 79 face off? That's good enough. At center, we have Kaler, Formentin, Dolan. At center, we also have Turjan. We have Giovanni Smith on the left. This is absurd. Oh my god, we have Riley Tufty. Riley Tufty. We have Taylor Radish on the right. Holy shit. And then down in the AHL. We have Andrei Svechnikov. We have Andre. We have Evgeny. Yeah, we might have to trade these brothers here. <laughs> we have Andre. We have Evgeny. All right. And then for fourth liners, we have Thomas Wilson and Benoit Garou. So, Garou is a great center. 
Thomas is a right wing, and Tom Wilson. Not that I'd want to keep Tom Wilson. I'd probably probably agree to trade Tom Wilson here. We'll give him a nice contract and then send him on his way. So we definitely have Guru and Thomas on the fourth line, which means we need to fill that left line, the uh, uh, fourth line left wing spot, which will either be Athanasiu. <laughs> It'll either be him or Elias Pedersen. It'll probably be Pedersen. Is it Peterson with the double T? I, I don't know. I hope it's Pedersen. If it's Peterson, somebody let me know. So we can go with him or we can go with Athanasiu. And I'm genuinely not sure. We might send Athanasiu on his way. Yeah. Yeah, I think it might be time to uh, ship him out as well. Which means that fourth line, left wing spot, would be Pedersen. So, <laughs> alright, I can tell you already, I already said it, Baptiste is gone. Baptiste is gone. Cole Lind, Radish. Uh, Dominic Turgeon is gone. Because of Kaylor Yamamoto. Oh my god, how how am I going to decide between this? I have Giovanni Smith, Tufty, both Svechnikov brothers, Kaylor Yamamoto, Cole Lind, and Taylor Radish. Seven guys, I have three spots, maybe four, if I have one of them play on the fourth line left wing spot. What the fuck? This is insane. The only other option would be to trade Taylor Hall. I could trade Taylor Hall right now. That would open up another spot. Do I want to trade Taylor Hall right now? Because like we have like we agreed, eventually his nine point million dollar cap hit, or his nine million, nine point, his nine million dollar cap hit will become an issue. Absolutely. And we do have Hishier, Larkin, and Tippett. That could be the first line. That could be the first line. And then have Dolan in the center spot. That might be the key right there. That might be the key. I think Taylor Hall is gone. Believe it or not. I think Taylor Hall is gone. Larkin moves up to the first line. We have Dolan take the second line center spot. And that opens up room for, we'll say, Radish. Which means Cole Lind is the third line right wing. Kaylor Yamamoto is the third line center. And then we have to decide between Smith, Tufty, the Svechnikov brothers are gone. The Svechnikov brothers are gone. There goes that plan. So it's down to Giovanni Smith and Riley Tufty. Who survives? Smith came up pretty damn big in the prior postseason. Or we had the AHL player of the year in Riley Tufty. Looking at the stats, Tufty has better puck skills. He has a better census category. Smith is better defensively. It, it goes to Tufty. It goes to Tufty. It does. Just flat out. Giovanni Smith is out. So we have our team. We have our team. Give me one moment to set it up, and I will show you guys. Uh, what our team is going to be this season. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Who is here that shouldn't be? Taylor Hall. Right. Right, right, right. So Taylor Hall is gone. And you can imagine now the amount of draft picks we're about to pull in from all of this shit. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, so we go best lines. We have Hishier, Larkin, Tippett. Second line is Dolan, Formentin, and probably Cole Lind, since he's an 87. So then we have Tufty, Yamamoto, Radish, Pedersen, Guru, Thomas. That is our team. That is still an amazing team. Cole Lind, it's a little bit concerning. Actually, now that I look at his stats... He's an 87. 
He is an 87. But, like, I don't know how. I don't know how. Like, defensively, he's good. Physical category, shit. He's an amazing skater. Freaking. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it, though. The passing, the shot, the good shot power, but the accuracy, shit. Maybe we don't hold on to Cole Lind. Like, he's good, and he's going to get better. But maybe we don't. Like, you look at Taylor Radish's offensive category, I would argue that it's better. But, let's see here. Let's see. So if I don't, if I don't keep him, it would be keeping Taylor Hall. And if we keep Taylor Hall, that means we probably go with that line right there and replace Lind with Hall. That's probably the best way to go about it. But again, Taylor Hall's contract is going to be an issue. So do we just go with Cole Lind and see what he can do? He did have a really good season down in the AHL last year, 57 points in 76 games. It's just his individual attributes really worry me. They really worry me. I, mean, I could just play Taylor Radish here instead. And Radish was a proven player for us last year, especially in the postseason. But Smith is gone. Svechnikov brothers are gone. So we definitely have Tufty. Tufty's good stat-wise, for sure. Kaler's good stat-wise, for sure. I don't know if... Uh, I actually don't know if the Svechnikov brothers would be better on paper. All right. I Damn, 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 damn. Do we keep Taylor Hall do we keep Taylor Hall and then have Larkin on the second line or do we go with Lind and Radish let me take a look at some of the values here really quickly I told you guys I it would be a marathon episode if you didn't expect this to be a marathon episode you're fooling yourself but let's see here so we got Hishier, Hall, Larkin, Tippett, Andre Svechnikov has really good value like, really good value. Actually, I think that would be a mistake to get rid of him. That would be a mistake to get rid of him. Now, Lind has better value than Dolan. So maybe it would be a good idea to keep Cole Lind, too. I think Cole Lind and Dolan are going to be similar. It's just he has better value because he's a year younger. But trading Andre Svechnikov would be a mistake. Now, you have Formentin, who's not bad... Oh, shit, dude. This completely changes everything. Just looking at the values. So Thomas is a fourth liner. Let's see. We have Formentin. Baptiste is up there, but he's 26. So Baptiste is gone. Svechnikov, Lind, Formentin. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Tufty has decent value. Same as, as, as Evgeny Svechnikov. Easy for me to say. Fuck, man, this is... Oh, just when I thought I had it all figured out. And then Kaylee Yamamoto's value isn't exactly that impressive. Good overall and good stats, too. But do I want to judge it solely off of value? You know, that, that's the thing. Do I want to judge it solely off of trade value? I mean, looking at Andrei Svechnikov, you, know, you can kind of see how he's the real deal as a sniper. Fucking hell. I want to figure this out in this episode, too. All right, first things first. We know Wilson, Athanasiu, and Baptiste are going. That is happening. There just flat out isn't room for them anymore, which is a shame, that veteran line. The question is, I might have to trade them all individually, too, to make this work. Um, 89, 89, 88. They can't take him. Uh, Florida? Maybe not. Come on, somebody's got to be able to afford them. New Jersey. There we go, the Islanders. That might be a good fit. That might be a good fit. Let's see. They have Donahue, who is a, Jesus, 78 overall at 19 years old, and he's a CHL player. <laughs> Fucking hell, Kevin Donahue. Well, you know, it wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be my series without me trying to get that guy. Without me trying to get that guy. Not as if we don't need the help. But let's yeah, there's there's no way I'm gonna be able to afford this. There's no way. 
I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try, because again, we're about to get even more picks. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Holy shit, it went through. All right, three first round picks and Baptiste for Donahue. <laughs> All right, well, we just got another high end player. I didn't expect that to go through. Baptiste is gone. Again, Tom Wilson and Andreas Athanasiu are next on the list. Holy shit. This team. So Athanasiu and Wilson, can we send them both to the same team? Tampa, I don't think, could afford it. Washington might. Washington might be able to afford it. Let's take a look. Of course, they have a million goddamn picks now because of us. Second and third rounder. No, they'd have too many skaters. How about just Athena? See you then. Second round pick. How's that looking on value? It's about fair, I'd say. Will that go through? No, it won't. All right. Apparently not fair because they don't want to give it up. But you know what? That's, that's fine. I can just tack on a draft pick here. <laughs> I can just tack on a draft pick. Yeah, you're damn right. It's close to fair value. We are getting your second round pick, whether you like it or not. And actually, you're not even going to get that extra fourth. And the damn fucking thing skipped. All right, let's go back and find Athena. See you again. Hooray, 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 hooray. Will that go through? Yes, it will. Athena, see you off to the Washington Capitals. Should have sent Tom Wilson back there, but I didn't. But I didn't. So then, Tom Wilson, you're next on the list. I can't believe he still has as good a value as he does. How would you like to go out west to the Anaheim Ducks? The Anaheim Disco Ducks. Third rounder? Nope, that wouldn't work. Okay, how would you like to go to the Chicago Blackhawks? How would you like to go out to sweet old Chicago? Well, what do you say to that? The Bears and all. Second round pick straight up. Sweet. See you later, Tom. Thank you for your service. Enjoy the cup ring. He's gone. Okay. So now we're still in the same damn situation where I don't have a goddamn clue of what to do. 2,000 years later. But then, all right, so Giovanni Smith... Turjan, Svechnikov, Svechnikov. It's just Andre Svechnikov's value really makes me double guess it. Turjan's out. Like there's no there's no doubt about that. Turjan's gone. And unfortunately, Giovanni Smith is also gonna have to be on his way out. So from there, I have to decide with the Svechnikovs in mind. Before we do anything else, I do need to go and check out the AHL because we are low on forwards and it is likely that the game will sign somebody for me, which is not ideal in the slightest. Not ideal in the slightest. So let's see. Let's get this done here. Should this video have been clipped? Probably. It would have been a fourth of the time, but it is too late now. So let's see. Vic Marsh, of course, will be brought in. Joel David is 20. He will be brought in. Uh, Wisniewski is a forward, so it doesn't help us out any. Goalie is Canadian, but he's 20. And Par Ackerstrom can also be brought in. So we'll sign those guys up really quick before trading Smith and Turgeon. So Smith and Turgeon are up next. In terms of players, we are moving out. Whew, is this, is this episode living up to expectation? <laughs> I certainly hope so. I didn't expect it to be this bad or this difficult. I really didn't. This is crazy. So here we go. We need Dominic Turgeon and Giovanni Smith. You two are going to be on your way out. Can I send you both to the same place? Not looking like it. Uh, 44, 50, 48, 47. Oh, Montreal doesn't work either. Nashville doesn't work. The Islanders? I already tried that. What am I thinking? Nope. Uh, it's going to have to be separate. Eh, well, San Jose. There might be a chance... 
with the San Jose Shirks. Let's see, please. Fuck. All right. Well, actually, you know what? I could afford to take somebody back here if they have a forward with decent potential or something like that. And they do. Joachim Lettinen. Well, I hate to break it to you guys. I'm going for him. <laughs> I am going for him. They'd still have more than 45 skaters. Fuck, that sucks. All right, do they have anybody else? Do they have anybody else that I could pick up? Is that Brett Davis? Brett Davis wouldn't be a bad pickup. And he has one year left on his deal. That is perfect. Or we could go... Actually, no, he's an 84. Mr. Vegas Golden Knight. Reed Duke. Kapitanov. Actually, instead of Brett Davis... Well, eh. Actually, draft pick-wise, I think I'm a little bit low now. Let me double check here. <laughs> Let me double check. I'm, the easy solution is just to trade them separately. Absolutely. Yeah, we only have seconds. Okay. So, Turjan, how would you like to go to San Jose? You wouldn't. How would you like to go to St. Louis? You wouldn't. How would you like to go to the Tampa Bay Lightning? You would. Lovely. How about for a first-round pick? Not enough, but hey, guess what, Tampa? I am, uh, I'm I'm going to take that first-round pick off your hands. I hope you don't mind. Thank you very much. Dominic Turjan off to Tampa. All right. Giovanni Smith is next, and then we have to figure out the rest of this team. I'm still not done figuring out the team. It's an issue still. So, Vancouver, how would you like Giovanni Smith? It's not like I'm sending you a nobody here. He is a legit player, no doubt about that. But Riley Tufty, I know again, I have used Tufty in the Bruins series. I have used Tufty in the Bruins series. So maybe... Maybe it would make a bit more sense to hold on to Giovanni Smith. I mean, they're about equal in value, aren't they? They're about equal in value. Yeah, they are equal in value. Same age. Smith is just a little bit better on paper. I mean, like, the difference... I mean, it's just the offensive awareness that really kind of throws me off. You know what? Whatever. Let's just... Yeah, we'll have Smith be a part of the deal. It's fine. Will that go through with Vancouver? Yes, it will. We could have gotten more. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it clearly doesn't matter. Ah, oh, shit. It did sign somebody for me. Fuck. Oh, I was trying to avoid that, but oh well. I am going to have to figure out the AHL here as well, which is going to be fun. Fun, fun, fun. I got to figure that out before deciding the future of uh, the Svechnikovs or potentially somebody else. So let's see, down at the AHL level, for forwards, so I go best lines. Yeah, see, it has defensemen in there. So it's signed Lapalainen, which is going to be a little bit of trouble to the point where I'm actually going to have to sign him to a one-year deal, which is fine. I'll just have to remember to sign him. So we have Pedersen as the top line center. So hold on. We have Kelly Chow. We have Pedersen. And for shits and giggles, we'll just say Hagman. We have Pasquale. We have Lapalainen. We have... I'm actually going to probably trade Noah Rod. <laughs> and yeah, I'm probably just going to trade Noah Rod. Uh, David Backus, of course, isn't going to play. Eklund is a defenseman. <laughs> we have Ackerstrom. Well, actually, hold on. Let me double check here. Lefty, lefty. We'll put Hagman over here. All right. This is brutal. We do have Ackerstrom. Yeah, I'm going to have to sign a lot of players for the AHL side. Damn, we don't have... Anybody right now, but Vesa Lapalainen will factor into this team. Yeah, I have nobody signed at the AHL level right now. That was the other really big issue. I don't mind signing Lapalainen because he can just be a depth guy for the team. We are just going to have to sign free agents anyway, so it's fine. So let's see here. Fortunately, you have an L. You couldn't have been like Adams or anything, so I have to scroll through. This entire fucking list. He was a left wing, wasn't he? 
I genuinely don't remember. I pray that he was. Well, let's see if we can find him. This has been a marathon. A marathon in every sense of the word. So, Vesa Lapalainen. He'll be coming right up here. He'll be coming right up. He's not a left wing. He's not a left wing. Oh, God. And you guys all knew that he wasn't, too. So I'm sitting here full of hope, hoping for the best. And you already knew, like, nope, Doogie, you're an idiot. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're going to be disappointed. And indeed, I was disappointed. I was. I could actually just keep Noah Rod, now that I think about it, rather than trading him. He's not worth anything. Might as well just keep him. Lap a line and where the hell are you? Please. Thank you. There you are. All right. Uh, I have to sign him to an entry-level deal. I don't care. I do not care. So we'll keep Noah Rod, which is fine. I need one more center. I need a depth center. A veteran center. Ideally, let me look for forwards. Where's face-off rating? And he'll actually probably play over Akerstrom. Akerstrom will be... The, uh, the depth player, Selman, 91 face-offs, holy shit. And he's an 80 overall, so we'll bring in Selman, maybe. Meh, who gives a fuck about face-offs, let's just go best overall. So we have Waked, 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 Waked. All right, you're in, pal, you're going to be here. Let's see if we can sign Waked to a one-year deal. We need Martell. We'll bring in Martel. Beautiful. Uh, Martin Furk. Martin Furk. Come on back. Come on back. Ryan Kujawinski. Uh, yeah, we could use you as a lefty. That's fine. Kujawinski will look to sign for a one year deal. That's fine by me. I need one more lefty. Joseph Blandizi is the guy. So Blandizi. And I need three right-handed players. Patrick Russell, step on up. Step on up. Now, I don't believe it's going to let me sign all of these guys, unfortunately. But however many it lets me sign, that's fine, and we'll take care of it from there. Minor league scoring forward, nope. Other forward, Ollie. Chris Wagner, he works. As you can tell, forward prospects, we're not going to have too many at all. <laughs> not at all. I do hope, though, that Lapalainen, or whatever the hell his name is, accepts his contract offer first, or this could be a pain in the ass. We'll also sign Johan Sundstrom. Yes, I noticed Ein was down there. I don't care. He can stay on the free agent list. Okay, for the love of God, can we get this episode done? Holy shit. All right, so I need to wait to see who accepts out of this before deciding what I want to do with these contracts. That is the current situation. So do I want to keep both Svechnikov brothers, just one of them or neither? Martell accepted. Uh, Blandizi declined, Kujawinski, Russell, Furk, oh boy. Ah, uh, of course, well, whatever, whatever. Lap and line will be fine, I don't care. I don't care. I'll have another chance to side him in a second. So, we, we, he, he, need to figure this out. Hishier, Hall, Tippett, Fermentin, Larkin, Lind, Dolan, ah. <sighs> Shit. shit, 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 man. This is tough. One eternity later. Oh my god. There's nothing. I, I haven't been able to make that decision where it feels like, yes, you are making the right choice here. That hasn't happened yet. And it's just ripping me apart. 20 minutes later. Okay, Tufty, Hall, and Evgeny Savechnikov. And we have Pedersen on the fourth line. Andre with Linda Radish Radish. Yeah, that's it. Right there. That's the that's the trio. 
Tufty, we're not going to keep both Svechnikov brothers. That is the answer. That is the answer, simply put. So it's going to be Tufty, Evgeny Svechnikov, and Taylor Hall. So let's see if we can move out Riley Tufty, the AHL Player of the Year last year. But unfortunately for him, Andrei Svechnikov's value kind of overrules Tufty's season last year. Now the problem could be finding a trade destination because the draft pick situation for most of these teams is pretty rough. Uh, will Tampa work? Tampa will work. We will take your first and second next year, maybe even your second and third this year. I have no idea what Tufty is worth to you. We will find out very, very shortly. Very, very shortly. Let's go two-thirds. How's that looking? That looks fine to me. How's it sound to you? It works. Riley Tufty is off to Tampa. Riley Tufty is off to Tampa. All right. All right. Now we need to get rid of... Of Evgeny Svechnikov, this will not be. Oh, this will not be a situation where it's not going to be a Sedin twin situation. Unfortunately, they're not even twins; they're just brothers. We're going to get rid of them. It's the smart move. It is the wise move. It is the move that we are going to make. And then for Taylor Hall, I don't fucking know, guys. I don't. It might just be easier to trade Radish or Cole Lind and keep Taylor Hall because what are we going to get for full value? For Taylor Hall. I don't know what the answer to that is because there really isn't anything that is fair value for Taylor Hall. Now we are going to be able to send Svechnikov to Buffalo and we're going to be able to get a decent amount out of it. That is for sure. Again, more pick hoarding. That actually didn't go through. That might. No, it didn't. Sweeten it just a touch. We will do that for you, Buffalo. Because why not? How's the seventh round pick? Perfect. Evgeny Svechnikov off to Buffalo. And then it's down to... Okay. It is down to Taylor Hall, Andre Svechnikov, Taylor Radish, or Cole Lind. One of those four have to go. With Hall, an amazing player, but that cap hit could become trouble. Maybe not. It really kind of depends. With Cole Lind, good value, still good potential at 22 years old, but the stats just don't really add up. I mean, yeah, he is a two-way forward, and he's a pretty decent two-way forward and an amazing skater, but still, it's concerning. You have Taylor Radish. You know, more offensive than Cole Lind. And then we have... Is he actually listed down in the AHL right now? Yeah, he is. Andre Svechnikov. I think I'm going to trade Cole Lind. I think Cole Lind is the odd man out. We keep Taylor Hall. We keep Svechnikov and Radish. They play on the third line with Kayla Yamamoto. That's what we do. That is what we do. But then again, his fucking value. Ugh. He has really good value. As opposed to Radish. He has quite a bit of value compared to Radish. Svechnikov is staying. I know that for sure. So it's do we get rid of Taylor Hall in order to keep Radish and Lind and avoid potential cap issues down the line. We have to trade Taylor Hall at some point. We have to trade him at some point, but now is not that time. Taylor Radish is going. Taylor Radish is going. My decision's final. Taylor Radish is going. He is the one who is actually going. This team will be set. I'm just going to have to sign a couple more free agents, but we'll be good once that happens. Taylor Radish to Carolina for eh, first and second didn't go through. We'll try a first and a third. Will that go through? No, it won't. Surprisingly, Carolina. Stingy, stingy team. But we're going to pick a word from you because I don't like you. That went through. Taylor Radish is gone. It finally happened. Holy shit, we have this team set. <laughs> oh my god. The day you never thought would come. 
I have actually made up my goddamn mind. And we are good to go. Apparently we would still be under the cap. Where's David Backus? Yeah, there we go. We'll call up David Backus while we do this. And this team is finally set. Absolutely incredible. I don't know if I would have edited this video or put it up in full. It has been so goddamn long. Why did it put David Backus in over Pedersen? Are you fucking serious? That is so stupid. That is so stupid. Uh, where the hell is he? He's a center, right? Yeah, he is. Okay. For the fourth line, we have Pedersen, Guru, Thomas. We have Hall, Hishier, Tippett, Larkin with Formentin and Dolan, Savechnikov, Yamamoto, Cole Lind, Pedersen, Guru, Thomas. That team is set. That team is sick. It was going to be sick no matter what the hell we did. <laughs> My god. We are finally done. We are finally done with the NHL side. With the AHL side, I have to go best lines here and hope it doesn't sign anybody else. And it didn't. So that's good. So that's good. Scratched players. We have Ockerstrom. All right. So try to sign Lapalainen. We'll try to sign Lapalainen. And then see if I'm allowed to sign anybody else after that, which I should be, thankfully. Thankfully. Well, let's just go back and double check one more time. One more time for old time steak. Let's go find Lapalainen. Let's go find Lapalainen. I am not sorting by name. Oh my god. It has been such a long video. Good lord. Good lord. All right. Final stretch, though, here. Final stretch, though. We are making it through this, goddammit. We are making it through this. Lapalainen. We need to sign you, and then we'll figure it out from there. If we can sign anybody else, which we should be able to, but again, because we have players in the CHL, it's, uh, I'm unsure. So we'll sign Lapaline, we'll trade him away whenever. But we'll get him on board. We'll get him on board, and then we'll be good to go. And then we will be good to go. So let me advance day really quick. Please hurry up and sign that contract. I don't even want to look at this game anymore. Thank you very much for signing. Let me go look at the AHL squad one more time, just to make sure we're good. Just to make sure. The NHL lineup is set. The AHL lineup, we need... We need one or two more forwards, just as depth, and then we're good. That's all we need. That is all we need. So let's go get the two best forwards that we can. That'll sign AHL deals. Holy shit, and this marathon comes to an end. <laughs> I feel like I actually ran an actual marathon. Like, my brain is just fried right now. Absolutely fried. Could not make a decision. And the worst part is a lot of that was wasted time because a lot of the players we just decided on keeping were not going to be able to keep uh, in, a, in a season or two, because we're going to have other players that are in the CHL right now show up out of nowhere, and, you know, they're going to be taking those spots. It's going to be crazy. This is this was probably the worst it'll get, I imagine. Like, defensively, we'll be fine. We're not going to have too big of an issue. You know, maybe one or two instances. We didn't have too big of an issue with the defense this time out either. But... The, the offensive log jam is going to continue. I mean, like I said, we are going to have to trade Taylor Hall eventually. That is going to happen um, among other players, I do imagine. So, might not have been worth stressing out over this video too much. But, hey, <laughs> you can't say I don't care. You can't say I don't care. Uh, can I send down Bacchus? No. Okay. Well, I figured I would double check. As uh, my dog decided to wake up, she is going to have to wait while we wrap up this video. She is going to have to wait. You know what? Or not. Am I going to make a jump cut here? Who knows? Who the hell knows? Do, 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 do. Go ahead, fuck. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's finish this video, man. I just got a head rush. <laughs> like, I'm just... 
Ugh, this is brutal. So defensive prospects were good. Ackerstrom, Lapalina, we don't care about being in. Vic Marsh, though, obviously has to be in this lineup. And that means Sheldon Goalie gets scratched, which is fine. So Vic Marsh is in. We need to make sure that prospects that are actually ours that we care about are on the top lines. And Noah Rod, we don't really care about, but Pascale. And then David. So medium elite, medium elite, medium elite. That was fairly easy. <laughs> that was fairly easy. We'll actually have Vic Marsh play center. Uh, actually here, we'll have Kelly Chow. We'll put Vic Marsh over there. David over there. Oh, we have Tommy Hagman too. I didn't even notice. Okay, fine. That works out perfectly. That works out perfectly. And actually, you know what? Here, we'll put Noah Rod up here. Waked can be on that side. Adam Earn, Russell. We're good to go. The team is basically set. Just let me, uh, all right, that's good. That's good. Yoki Harju on that side. He's still listed as a minor league top two. Figured I would double check. Holy shit. And then Strite needs to be the starter because he has slightly better potential. Guys, the team is set. The team that will defend the Stanley Cup championship this season. Taylor Hall, Nico Hishier, Owen Tippett, Formentin, Larkin, Dolan, Andre Savechnikov, Kaylor Yamamoto, and Cole Lind, Pedersen, Benoit, Garou, and Robert Thomas. Defensively, Darnell Nurse and Philip Hronick, Nicholas Haig and Rasmus Dahlin, uh, Billy Sariarvi and Timothy Lilligren are the third pairing. And then, of course, the goaltender is Ian Scott with Uko Pekka Lukanen as the uh, backup goaltender there. AHL, Kelly Chow, Pascale, Marsh, Hagman, and David are really the only five to pay attention to. Defensively, we still have Yoki Harju, Bouchard, has potential, as does your melon. And it'll be interesting to see what Froloff can do. But aside from that, and a medium starter, potential goalie and Dan Stripe, this team is set. This episode has finally come to an end. I couldn't thank you enough for making it through this edited version, or if I put the full version of this video up, I have no idea. Guys, I will see you in the next episode of Rebuilding Hockey Town. Of course, leave a like if you enjoyed somehow if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already to continue following this series and others i promise every episode isn't like this <laughs> and i will see you guys in the next one